Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C2 tank killer. We're looking at using the GBU-54. The GBU-54 is a 500 pound GPS INS JDAM with laser guided terminal option. You can have them on pylons 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9 giving a total of 6. We can drop them essentially as a JDAM but then guide them to target via a laser. So we can use them as a JDAM or as like a GBU-12, a laser guided bomb. We'll use it today with laser terminal guidance. Push and hold weapon release to drop the bomb. You will need to push and hold for a few seconds before that bomb will release. Coolie switch right short to cycle between MFD screens on the right MFD. Left short to cycle between the left MFD screens. Left long which means to hold it for a second or more to make this screen soy at the center of interest so we can work on that screen and of course right long so that we can make this screen soy and work on this screen. China hat aft long we're going to be using that to slew our TGP to our SPI our sensor point of interest also trying to hat forward short to change our field of view in our teapot boat switch aft and forwards we can use this to cycle between white hot and black hot in the TGP DMS data management switch we've got forward and aft I'm going to be using them to zoom in and zoom out on the TGP left and right are going to be for my weapon selection master mode control switch will allow us to choose the method of weapons employment next the tms controls we're only going to use forward and it's forward short to gain a point track on the tgp and forward long to create a speed sensor point of interest and then our nozzle steering which is going to fire our designating laser and finally our axis controls we must have these two chaps here hotas slew horizontal hotas slew vertical got one axis going that way one axis going that way. We're in the air now. The target is about 10 miles in front of us. The aircraft it is in its default hot start condition. So master arm is already on, laser arm is already on, TGP is already turned on and warmed up. The first thing we're going to do is to create a SPI from a steer point. So that SPI is going to be near the target. It just so happens we've got steer point 2 that is near the target. We can either increment steer points here with the steer point incrementer or with the HUD soy and the HUD is soy because it's got a little star there. We can use DMS forwards and backwards and we've now got steer point two selected. So by doing that, we've automatically created a speed on steer point two. We just want to prove that to ourselves quickly and we've got the tab, the tactical awareness display here. We're currently zoomed in. We need to zoom out a little bit further. So we're going to make this screen soy with coolly left long. It's now soy because it has a box around it. Now we're going to use DMS forwards and backwards to change the zoom level. So DMS back and we can see we are there steer point one there steer point two there and it's got the wedding cake slash castle slash speed sign there so speed is on steer point two we're all good next i'd like to set the laser code or the prf of the bombs now it just so happens in our scenario another a10c is operating on 1688 which is the default we need to change ours so we're going to change to the dsms page we could click there or we could do coolie left short to cycle between so maverick load dsms as default, you can see they're all flashing ready and 1688 PRF. I'm going to change that by clicking Inventory. Click the station that we intend to edit. Let's say I want uh, station 3. It's going to be a GBU, a GBU 54. That's its current PRF, so we're going to change that on the UFC to 1588. You can see in the scratch pad there. And load. I want to load it to the bomb or the bomb and the pylon opposite. I'm going to load it to both. Load symmetrical. I'm now going to hit stat to go back to the DSMS. And you can see station 3 and station 9 are both now 1588 PRF. Next, I'd like to select our weapon. First, we're going to change our master mode to be in CCRP. That is how we're going to drop this bomb. So, press the master mode button. Guns. CCIP. CCRP. Next we're going to choose our correct weapon with the HUD as soy and you can see we've got the star in to show that the HUD is currently soy. We're going to press DMS left and right to cycle between them. So DMS left you can see it's selected GBU 54 and we can check in here it's the correct one station 3 and station 9 that have the correct 1588 PRF. Next over to our TGP which is warmed up and ready to go. I want to go air to ground mode and I'm going to go into control. We need to match the laser code, so 1588, 1588, and then click on the laser code, it's that one there. We now have the laser code on the TGP of 1588. Also, we would like to turn latch 
on. That means we're turning the laser from a press and hold affair to a modal affair where it will stay on until told otherwise. We're going to return back to the main TGP screen. Next, we would like to slew the T-Pod to our current speed, which is roughly near the target on steer point two. We're going to do that with China hat aft long. Done. The target is roughly in this area. Now, there are different ways to get the T-Pod pointing in this rough area. This is just one that we've shown for this video. Next, we need to manipulate the TGP. So we're going to make this screen soy coolly right long. And we've got the box around it. Now, I can't see any obvious vehicles there. So we're going to turn to black hot and white hot with our boat switch. So, white, nothing obvious. Black, ah, obvious, that's in there. And it's going to be a moving target. Next, I'm going to use my slew to go and find the trap. Roughly about there. Next, I'm going to DMS forwards and aft to zoom in and out, just to get roughly what I want there. Next, I'm going to place the cursor in front of him, the crosshair, sorry. And when he moves through that crosshair, I'm going to press TMS short forwards to create a point track. And we've now got a point track. With them now locked in a point track, we need to move the speed from steer point two onto this chap here. So TMS forward long to create a speed on this chap. Okay, created. So with the speed move, we now have the relevant symbology to drop the bomb. So we're going to have this vertical line here, which is going to guide us on our azimuth. We must fly so that our velocity vector, this larger circle here, is as close to this line as possible. It'll steer us in the right direction. We also have a dynamic launch zone here. We have a range from us to the target of 8.3 miles. As we move closer, we will find here that symbology will expand to show us the maximum and the minimum launch range, our max and our min. We'll go through that. Also here, we've got a time, 1 minute and 34. Our current parameters will be our range till maximum release, our range till our max. That's about it. We're going to unpause now, drive the simulation through. We're going to fly straight and level. And, and we can see we've got expansion of our, just pause it there, Dynamic launch zone, our max there, our minimum there. Obviously, we're going to get this guy here between those two, and uh, then we'll drop our weapon. Going. We're about to hit our max now. Three, two, one, and we now have manual release. We can now drop the weapon. So we're going to unpause, press and hold weapons release until the bomb drops. And pause, weapon release, push and hold, and the bomb is falling. This number here is now changed to time till impact. Once that's reaching about 15 seconds, I'm going to then press the nozzle steering button to laze. I'm just holding it steady for the time being. Okay, pressing nozzle steering to laze. Flashing L in the HUD, as you can see. And we should make sure we've got track, and we have. It's just a bit of a balance snack for me now to keep track. And we should hit that moving target. It's going to hit. Kaboomy! And we got him. So, that's the basic use of the GBU-54 on a moving target. I hope that's useful, and see you later.